All right, so here we go. Made him fly. Pitch forward, pitch back, left, All right. All right. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be building a uh, Source One 6S quad, freestyle quad. Uh, it's gonna be my backup quad. I'm tired of uh, breaking my quad and then uh, going home to fix it. I wanna have a backup. So um, here's what we got. So uh, first thing we have is the frame. It's a TBS Source One, five inch, and then we have four motors, Emacs Ecos, one, two, uh, three, and four, and we have a flight controller, four ESCs, a camera, a receiver, a VTX, and uh, some antennas over here. So um, first thing is to uh, put the frame together, just like that. See how easy that was? Next step is to put the motors, motors onto the frame. Very simple, right? So what you do is, is you bring your hand close and you just snap your fingers and uh, the motors are on. Next step is ESCs. Let's put them on. They're going to go right here for each motor. And I chose the biggest ESCs in the world, but let's do it. And just like that, the ESCs are on. Very simple process. You cut three lines, you solder them on. Cut three lines and you solder them on. And I uh, repeat over here and uh, repeat over here. Next step is to put the brain of the drone in. This is the flight controller. Put it right here, connect each ESC to each port on the flight controller. It'll look like this. So now we have the ESCs on and they're connected to the flight controller. Let me show you. So we have a positive, a negative, and a signal wire uh, going over here to the ESCs, uh, the negative, the positive, and the signal wire. You can also put a ground, uh, this is a ground right here, and you can um, ground it to the negative port right there. I never choose to, um, I've never had any issues. Also put the XT60, and uh, we're pretty much ready to test it out. Next step is to put power to this board and see if everything's okay. Um, if not, we'll get a whole bunch of white smoke. I'm gonna plug in the 6S LiPo, one-handed. Awesome, we're good to go. Once you hear those beeps, that means the flight controller is speaking to each one of the ESCs. Now, the next step is to connect the little stuff, which is uh, uh, the Crossfire receiver. We got a 400 milliwatt TBS VTX and a Cadex Retail camera. So uh, let's get started with those. All right, first we're gonna connect the camera. So I'm gonna put some solder on these pads, just pre tin them. This is the five volt, this is the ground. And this is the video input. This is roughly where the camera is gonna sit. Uh, coil the wires, and we're gonna snip them. So this should be uh, this should be plenty right here. And we just gotta solder those on. And first, we're gonna solder on the uh, the power wire. And first, we're gonna solder on the power wire, five volt. Now we have the ground wire. It's already on there. Let's get it on there a little better. And then we have the video wire. Now let's move on to the next step. The next step is to connect the VTX. I have the TBS Unify Nano 400 milliwatt. It runs off of five volts. This is the pad that I'm using for the LEDs. I'm not using LEDs, so I'm just gonna steal that five volt pad. Here's the video out. It says VTX, the ground, and the telemetry line. I'm gonna solder uh, these wires onto the uh, to the VTX. This is what it looks like after it's been soldered. You got the green wire, which is the uh, smart audio, yellow wire, which is the video, and then you got your ground, the black wire, and the five volt, which is the red wire. Uh, next step is to install the receiver. The receiver I am using is the Crossfire TBS Nano. It takes a five volt ground and a TX and a RX. The ports that I'm going to use are these. I got my uh, 5 volt right here. I got the ground right here. The TX and the RX. We got the receiver installed. This is how it looks like. You got your ground. You got your 5 volt, which is the red wire. And your TX and your RX. The RX is the yellow wire. And the TX is the green wire. And that's going to be on UR4 right there. And uh, we got the 5 volt and the ground. 
and we're done. So now that everything is soldered on, everything works like it should, it's time to put the frame completely together. Are you ready? Did you look at that? We are all done. This beautiful drone is ready to be flown. All right, here's the finished product. Looks pretty good. We're about to do the maiden flight. Let's see how it goes. All right, so here we go. Maiden flight. Push forward, push back, left, all right. Surprisingly smooth. The Xenax Eco motors are not very strong. Okay. The Zing motors I have on my uh, Badger are much faster than this. But for the price, it's very good. Wow, I'm very surprised of how smooth it is. It's a cheap build. Maybe $250 worth of parts in it. It's fine, great. Feels like it's much more efficient. Oh, I guess yeah, these motors are more efficient. Getting more flight damage than I already noticed. I'm only halfway done through the battery and it's been almost two minutes. Oh, zero bounce back. My battery bounces back and I do quick maneuvers like that. These both have the exact same tune on. Uh, same rate, same everything. Same props. Only thing that's different is the motors. And the fence. Great signal with my FPV feed, this TBS Nano. It's only on 400 milliwatts, but it's doing really good. I usually fly 1,000 milliwatts on my uh, on my battery. Three minutes already. It's awesome. how much more flight time I'm getting. I guess uh, my Zing motors are 1800, these are 1700 KV, so it's making a big difference. Very happy, it's awesome. Haha! <laughs> it's a good first flight.